This is the Gura Gear Kiboko City Commuter 18 liter camera backpack. You know those of us who carry camera gear around get real persnickety about our gear. So these guys sent this over to take a look at because there's I think there's a lot of interesting features here. Now I've already used it a bit, but in this video I'm gonna pack out how I would pack it out. Couple things to know about it. Really protective, boxy sort of vibes here, right? Very protective from the external material to the padding. That is not only like what you'll use on the inside, but also the exterior padding of the bag. Very protective. There is what I'll call a slight roll top with two magnetic clips here, okay? So you can get into a bit of expansion up top. There are a bunch of great details on this bag, like these magnetic clips, which you'll find here at the top, as well as on the sternum strap itself. And all these straps have strap gather stuff built in, also magnetic. Jury's for me out on if these magnetic, they're, they, they're a little bit, little bit bulky. You'll also find those gathers here on the backpack straps, but you have Velcro instead of the magnets there. More great details, these zipper pulls and the throws of these zippers, okay? This, I like when I can just grip it and rip it kind of thing, and these just move so great. The mesh and padding on the straps, it just feels like a great detail. Also, things like this where you have a luggage pass-through, Hypalon with bar tacking right here, super burly. Magnetic water bottle here is, is nice. We'll get into this, but strong magnets that expand this out on all, all four sides, or all three sides, I guess. And then their blue sort of, if you can see that blue, that means your camera bit is open. Lots of great details that the people at Gura Gear have put into this bag. Now, the thing you need to know about Gura Gear is these people who design this stuff, where this company comes from, they're serious photographers, okay? Bush photographers, outdoorsy, they came, they came from like a lot of safari stuff. So, so they've got good design chops and a, a, a sense of the needs of photographers. This bag, you put it on its face like this to get into the full access of the bag. There's also a side door access here, which looks a little small to me. Epic for like micro four thirds, but we're gonna see how it fits on my camera. There's also over here, front panel, bottom left, a little secret kind of compartment. And in there, I don't know if I'll be able to show you this, just a perfect little spot for, I'm guessing, an SD card as well as lots of external access. Here on these front panels, they butterfly open, and this is where you can throw all sorts of your bells and whistles. This compartment does not go all the way across. So for me, this is like a minimal maximalist's camera bag, okay? It is a pretty tight, cool, like chill little container. Don't you think? Like it's fairly minimal in its looks. It's sort of like a minimal way to get a maximal amount of gear is what my, after using it for a little while, that's what I, that's my take. With of course the added benefits of sleek sort of looks and uh, stands up on its own. Basically, however I had this thing packed out, it stood up because there's lots of structure there. Okay, let's pack out this bag. But first, this episode is brought to you by Western Rise. Western Rise are based in Telluride, Colorado. They make a bunch of technical casual clothes is how I would put it. And these are a couple pairs of their Evolution 2.0 pant which I'm wearing right now. I wore these on a recent trip to Bozeman as my one pair of pants, and I am, these have broken in so well. I think they get better with age even. They're ultra lightweight, just enough stretch, super durable, you've got an extra, this is like kind of like, you know that little five pocket pocket? This is a little bit bigger. It's designed for your phone. On the back pockets, everything's regular, except for there's a hidden zipper pocket back there, their Evolution 1.0, I use for serious outdoor stuff. And I didn't have to change when we got back into town and you're going to the pub or you're taking a meeting with someone or, or anything like that. This has replaced my jeans. The white actually churches up the look quite a bit. That's what I've noticed. You wear white pants and people are like, you look nice today. So don't sleep on that. Shout out to Western Rise for the support. Okay, let's pack this bag out.
So here's my Canon EOS R6. I've got the 24 to 105 on here. When I travel, I will typically just bring one lens. Other things I need are my Rode microphone, some batteries. Oftentimes I will bring the Peak Design travel tripod, which was super spendy, but has been super, I mean, I've just relied on this thing a bunch. Then I've got my sort of everyday essentials and, and computer and stuff. I'm gonna walk you through it. So the bag came with a bunch of these different inserts like this. Some of them don't have any Velcro. They're just made to be like little bits. You can see this long one here has a hinge in it. And then there's like multiple sizes. Now you've got a laptop pocket on this side here. And this is, you know, more of those details. Hypalon stuff right here and a magnetic clip, which I'm not terribly crazy about. In fact, if I use this regularly, I might just, because they have this little bit in here, which is nice. That just put goes on top of your of your laptop so nothing gets hurt by the hardness of this. Just good details. But this feels pretty burly. Whatever I put into here, you can see some uh, some dimension here. Whatever I put into here is going to cut into the space in here, right? So on bags like this, I think I prefer to leave stuff like this empty and then flip over the bag for these front panels. So on both sides here, you have meshy zippers on the door itself. On this one, it goes a little bit more, uh, you have a little bit of ad, like admin type stuff. This does not go all the way down, it goes down to right there. This does go all the way down. And you have a couple pen slots and little things, a key clip, a little higher up key clip. Nice details. I'm gonna hide that long key clip because I never use this stuff. And I'll make this side my sort of like on the go access side just because in case I ever do clip keys here, this will be like the side with the logo and the embroidered logo will be my like go to grab what I need, uh, you know, daily stuff instead of just the camera stuff. So AirPods, my little dongle, looks like it probably fits right in there. Got my favorite little Papermate pen, probably put a couple there. This looks like it's decent enough to fit my notebook, all right? So that's gonna be good. But if I put this down here, then whatever I put in here, like for example, it would be great to put my battery right in here. I just think that it'll, it'll close up fine, actually. So when I open that, I've got my notebook just there at the bottom. You can see the little bit of dimension that they have built in around the uh, seams of this zipper. Okay, so then I'm gonna put some of my extra cables that I need to have, but I don't always need to use right in that one. I'm gonna do my glasses from Rove. You should check these out. They're really interesting because this is a full pair of glasses, but it just fits right here. I will link to them below. Okay, and now we are in like snacks. I think this is a good place for snacks. This is one extra cable, like an audio cable that I sometimes need. SD card holder. This is where it gets kind of funky. One of my favorite things on this bag is this pocket here where you open up and I don't know if you can see it, but you've just got a decent amount of space in there. On the back of the bag, you can see where this thing goes to and the whole thing is padded. So this would be a potential spot for putting your camera instead of going through the doorway here. However, I don't like to get through two clips and then a roll top, which by the way, has nice like magnets in it. Can you see them magnets right there and there? They're using great magnets, nice and strong. Feels great. Perfect size just gear taco right up here at the top of the bag, you can throw stuff in there. But in order to get it, you've got to do, and again, this is not a long roll top. You gotta to do those and then two of these. So for me, Sennheiser PXC 550s, still my favorite Bluetooth headphone, though it is time for another roundup. And charger go in here and probably my two hard drives, my two external hard drives that I use to edit stuff on. So it's just a grab bag right here of just chunky stuff, headphones, power adapter, and hard drives. And then you roll it down and just do this little clip. I mean, the magnets feel nice. It's just a, like a, you know, a quick slide to the, to the side. Just one side is slightly more rounded than the other on the clip. So you can just kind of but it can be hard to know which, wait, do I go this way or that way? So you just get used to it, thumb side. And by the way, those magnet strap uh, gather things are, are like magneting 
to the magnet inside that roll top thing right there. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so this is kind of interesting me here. This is a, an etc. two liter from them. It's nice and padded and robust, but you're clear on the top so you can see through it. Guru sent this over as well, which is a nice, super lightweight and minimal SD card holder, which feels like just protective enough. And it's got a nice little elastic closure, something to clip it to, right? I bet this would be perfect for that front of the bag long clip, for example. If I was using this regularly, I would probably do that. But as it is, this is not, uh, this is not how daddy will be using this bag, unfortunately. This is probably a better way to set up that uh, bracket guy with a little divider right here. And for some reason, I like this for that. And I'll throw this cord actually at the bottom of that because this cord I very rarely use. It's just a long audio cable for connecting this microphone at a, a little bit at a distance. And I think that once that laptop is down on top of this, it's going to be a solid seal and those things won't flop around, but we'll see about that. One of the things I tend to like to do is if I have a side access door like this over here to get to my camera, I like to be able to get my microphone that way as well just because I'm always having to pack the camera without the microphone on it. But whenever I'm filming, I like to pull the camera out because you never know what you're gonna get. And I can add one of these guys right here and this could give me something sort of interesting to use. I bet this is gonna be too tall, but this is the OmniCharge 20. So this is really nice to have because you can, you can literally run a laptop from it. You can, you can charge a lot of different stuff, but yeah, that's just too, that's just too tall. You see there, because even especially accounting for the extra dimension coming from our laptop, that's gonna be pushing right down into our laptop. However, obviously it's like, yoink, there we go. Then I can actually keep that for just batteries and this becomes SD cards and that guy. All right, this feels pretty good. By the way, the huge drone, my drone could fit right in here instead, remove this stuff and be able to fit the the microphone. I could also, if I wanted to, add another guy right here and make a kind of like a, you know, unused batteries and used batteries bin. That could be, that could work nice. I have my, my bigger notebook. I have a, a booklet that I'm reading through and then my laptop. Let's get this going. 16 inch MacBook Pro fits perfectly. It must have been designed for it, right? And then this little, this little clip up in here, magnet clip, make sure that when you're, it makes sure that when you drop this open, your laptop isn't coming out, right? Which if we're accessing the bag, if we need to get everything, this is going on its face, we're unzipping. By the way, these zipper throws are great. So you're running around, quickly going through stuff. You can feel like, I can see I've got a little tension right there coming from the laptop that being pulled, right? So the further down my laptop, the better. And then I can just kind of throw my reading material and my bigger notebook in this padded. This is obviously a tablet sleeve. It's padded. It's got some nice materials. Your stuff on this side feels really rigid and durably protected, even on the front, even on the side where your gear is. I've seen some bags where on this side, it just doesn't have very much protection. All right. And so our seal on this, can you see this? How it's kind of like sinking into there. It feels good. There's not a bunch of, it's not gonna be hard to zip it all around. Now, this side access, if we have the bag on and we're opening this up like that, yeah, I can get my camera in and out fine. That's great, actually. I normally find myself not being able to get around the grip, but doing like a wide, with, with most bags, you know what I mean? And then when you're looking in there, you just got a little spot to slide the lens in, male-female connection. Also, a little Velcro and meshy over here. Good spot for maybe some ND filters. Okay, then there's this water bottle pocket. Here's my 32 ounce Awala water bottle. This thing eats it up perfectly. Look at that, 32 ounces, double insulated. Nice lock so it doesn't spill. Okay, I'll link to this below. I like this thing a lot. This is slightly stretchy, but not so stretchy that like, that it's gonna run out of stretchiness like in a short amount of time. That's the challenge with too stretchy of a mesh. And when you pull this out, it just flops right down. Magnets, how do they work? And don't forget, there is that little secret pocket right here. By the way, this thing is like 
really tight. Good thing about this is it's extremely protected. It's very flat. Nothing's gonna get bent there. So you can imagine ND filters going right here, for example. Okay, now for the tripod thing, all right? This nice Peak Design one gets really small. We're gonna be able to slide it right in here and then you'll see we've got another gathered strap clip right here, which is sort of an interesting clip. This little thing right here is, so, is for cinching that down. So let's ungather our straps here, open that up. Yeah, it feels more sturdy on the, the actual webbing. Throw our tripod in there. We'll do the old reach around, sync it up, and we are good to go. And then there are some other accessories like uh, hip straps that clip onto right down here. You see that little piece of webbing there? And they've got good big G hooks. So if you're carrying something heavier, that's great to put that load onto your hips, okay? You can fit a surprising amount of gear in here. It can actually get heavy. There's also some extra tripod straps, which by the way, also have the strap gather stuff built in. These ones are Velcro. On one side, you have a G hook like this. And on the other side, you have a G hook like this. And then you have this big strap in between that has sort of an interesting, like, uh, I don't know, I've never seen this before, actually. This is like a lock for your webbing, and then here's how you unclip it, I like it. These straps are made to go right here on the front. You clip in here and here, and you clip in down here, and you can run a bigger tripod all through here. A nice way to carry multiple tripods on a very chill, small bag, for example, because you could get multiple cameras in here easily, and if you know you're gonna need two tripods, how else would you do that, right? A lot of bags you wouldn't be able to. But the other thing is this rain fly, which I'm interested in for a few reasons. The first reason is that all these zippers on the bag are not water sealed, which means they're really beautiful to throw like this, right? It's so nice because it's not water sealed. So they have this little guy, which has a little case that you can wrap around the entire thing. Now I've got my tripod in here still, so let's see how it does with that. And my zippers for the laptop and the spendy gear is on the back, so how far around can we really get with a tripod on there? And look, I can get everywhere I need to be. This is great. A little, you know, <laughs> practice safe snapping. You know, snap, it's like snapshot, you know, snapping. Practice it safely, you know, because this is like a, it's like a condom. Uh, just wanna make sure you're tracking. And then it comes off and you're kind of like, I would probably just end up tossing this into a pocket. However, if it's really raining, it is nice to have something to throw it into. This is another waterproofish fabric, right? So this goes in your bag. Possibly for me, it would go in the back where all the camera gear is, which does take up some space in the bag. So if you're gonna take this around with you, you need to think about where you're gonna put it. Probably best spot, I don't know, I wouldn't wanna put it up in the top because they actually will be getting into this, reaching in blind and finding one of the hard drives or my charger. I don't want another thing floating around up there. I would probably just find, make a tiny pocket for it as small as possible and smush this into the actual ca camera cube. So here's the bag on. Right, you can see the size and the shape of it. You definitely notice these big padded bunches on the back, like nice padded, nice meshy. You've got airflow right where that luggage pass through is. The straps feel super solid. You can see where they come sort of down and around like this. But for the amount of gear that I could get in this, right? Just rucking around. This is actually really solid for outdoorsy kind of like get into go hiking for maybe you have like two or three hours to hike up to get to this place where you want to get a shot. Maybe you want to have multiple tripods or multiple pieces of gear or whatever. If I was doing like a long trek with this, I would take that tripod and I would use those straps and put it right down the middle there. And then I would put my water bottle in here because if I'm out there for a while, daddy needs water. So that is the Guru Gear Kaboko Commuter City, City Commuter. 18 liter, a lot of words in that title. Cannot be overstated the durability, abrasion resistance, scuff and tear and dirt and lint resistant material on the outside. This X-Pack stuff is really 
heavy duty and it's very lightweight too. There's a ton of structure and padding in the bag. It stands up on its own and it's got tons of organization, both access on the externals for littler things, as well as your camera cube on the inside. Solid bag. I know some of you camera people live out of your camera bag. This is a, a, a very worthy option. I will link below to my camera bags page where I keep a list of all of the camera bags that I have reviewed. And uh, let me know in the comments if you're using something uh, that you really love, because I learn from you guys a lot which companies I should reach out to to show what they actually make. Thanks to Gura Gear for helping me make this video. Thanks to uh, Western Rise for my pants. I like wearing them without underwear. You, uh, you choose your own path, right? Sometimes I don't practice safe snapping. But then again, I have been snipped because I have, I have children. I have, you know, I have, I have my quiver of children already. By the way, the first camera I ever got, the first time I ever got, a, like, I was like, I'm gonna spend money on a camera. It was right before my first son was born. I got a Canon 5D Mark II. I wanted to do video stuff, but I convinced my wife that I should get this camera because, babe, the baby, we've got to get pictures. And we did get a lot of pictures. That was the beginning. That was the beginning of all the, the Canon stuff, the camera stuff, and it's still been Canon for me. I actually was in Panasonic uh, for video because they had no record limit. Uh, fascinating. Thanks, Panasonic. Canon still limits me. What, what year is this? I get it. Tariffs. I get it. That's some videographer griping for you there, which, you know, as a YouTuber, I just ruck around with one camera. I don't tend to love using a bag that's so boxy or so camera bag-y. However, when I need to bring multiple cameras or my drone or like a more solid studio rig, I like to travel with just the camera. I typically all have like one battery in my pocket, right? As minimal as possible is what I like to do. But when I'm traveling somewhere, I need a daily carry and this, like I could definitely see myself traveling with this as my like backpack and then a duffel bag to put on the overhead compartment or something when I'm going somewhere to do something serious, you know? So that's that. And not to mention that you could do some sear with the hip straps. You could do some serious like hiking and getting out and you could transit on foot with this for a long time and it'd be fairly comfortable because it's compact enough for you to not bring everything, but it's big enough for you to have like what you need if you can decide on what you need on and even, a, even to a tripod, right? Which I would probably honestly strap this to here and my water bottle would go in there. And now this becomes a super sleek kit for me. So I'm stoked on this product. I think you guys should know about it. Uh, questions in the comments? You know, be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.